Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, we will learn how to connect to MySQL database in Visual Studio Code using Java. So let's start. So first, we have to create a Java Mine project for that. So for that, I will come to this uh, settings and command plate leads. And here, I have search the create Java project, which is this one. And now I will select this uh, Marvin. And uh, here we have to select the uh, archetype quick start. And uh, I'll select this uh, version. And now here I will provide the group ID KIM. And for artifact ID demo is uh, perfect. You can change it. Or I will change it to uh, test and hit enter. And now here we have to create or select a folder. So first I will create a new folder. I'll select this uh, new folder and uh, i'll use uh, give it a name connect my SQL. and now i'll select this and select destination folder and it will start creating the project now when this snapshot appears so press uh, enter and now here we have to provide a y for yes and hit enter our project is created now we will open this so i'll click on this open so now the project is opened so this is the source and if i go to this main and uh, app.java this is our main class and this is our form.xml where we will add our drivers so to download the driver we have i will go to this browser and i'll create a new tab and i'll use here marvin central repository and i will select this first one and now here i will search for my schedule j connector and hit enter so now it will load so we will select this latest one now i'll come down and I will copy this dependency. I'll copy this and now I'll go to this uh, Visual Studio code and uh, pom.xml and now I'll uh, go down to this dependencies section and now outside this dependency tag I'll paste this. I'll remove the space and now I'll control S this. Now I'll uh, select yes and now we'll go to our uh, app.java. Now let me show you the uh, database. So I'll, I have started XAMPP control panel so you can see it here. I and my schedule is started as well so if i come to this browser i have opened the local host here so this uh, my db I have this table is td and we have this one record in this and we will uh, retrieve this record connect to this database my db and retrieve this record so now i'll go again to this uh, and i'll remove this line and now here we will write our code so first we will uh, create the url of the uh, db so string url equals so use here jdbc and my scale full column then forward slash forward slash and then local host then the port number as you can see here in same control pen and that my scale is used 3306 so we will use 3306 so 3306 and then our slash and then the database name my db and now i'll put semicolon here now we will create the db user and the uh, password so string on uh, db user equal and uh, we are using the root user semicolon and a string password equals uh, empty and now i'll put semicolon now we will create the connection so connection con equals driver manager dot git connection and now the first is url then the db user and then the password is uh, taken automatically and now i'll put semicolon at the end Control Z this and semicolon at the end. Now this is showing error because we have to uh, enclose it in try catch or add surround it with try catch or add throws uh, declaration. So I'll add throws uh, declaration. Now we have made our connection. So now we will create the statement. So statement stmt equals con dot create statement and I'll put semicolon. And now this statement is showing error. So if I click on this and uh, uh, quick fix is so uh, we will import a java dot SQL statement and now we will create our query so string query equals select static from uh, std which is our table i'll put semicolon now we will use result set rs equals uh, stmt dot execute query and now we will put semicolon at the end now this is done so we will use while loop while rs dot next then uh, get the value so um, the string or int id equals to rs dot uh, get int and here we will pass in the column name id and now i'll put semicolon here at the end where are these column names coming from if i go here to database now you can see this is id name father underscore name and address these names uh, we are using there so uh, i'll copy this control c this and now i'll control v it here and now 
I'll use uh, this string and uh, I'll use here name and rs.get string and here we will use name and now I'll copy this control C this and now I'll control V down here and one time again and now I'll name this uh, string f name and here i will use a uh, father underscore name and this will be address and here i'll use address and now we will uh, show this and terminal so system dot out dot print ln and here we will use uh, double quotes id plus id plus double quotes space space and then name uh, colon space and here we will use plus uh, name and then plus double quotes and space space and then f name i have to create a space here plus f name and then plus double quotes space space and address and space uh, full colon space and plus uh, address and now here I will create a space as well space now so our code is complete so let's run it and check this so I'll click on this run button so now the code is running and you can see ID one name Tanvir if name uh, Khan and address uh, Peshawar and your terminal I think that's all for today I hope you like the video if you like the video please like subscribe and comment thank you